Hello, hello, Dangerous. I am, I am here with uh, Hedgehead33, my new hat, as you can tell. Wait, what? <laughs> you put me up there so I cover less yeah. of the text. <laughs> I did not consent to being your hat. Oh. Anyway, hopefully this time, uh, I won't suddenly become drop dead tired. Yeah. Well, we only have an hour left from one of our members from the game creator saying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bookworm. Balancing a mule near on top of your head is kind of impressive. Actually, yeah, that would be pretty impressive. I actually, before we start, I actually heard someone called Mjolnir, uh, Jolni, is how you pronounce it. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, how do you get Jolni? There's an R at the end. No, it's about as bad as your first time trying to pronounce it. Shut up. Mjagolner. At least I put the R sound at the end. <laughs> yeah, you just butchered everything else. <laughs> Fuck you, not. We're, we're not southern enough that our, our speak is terrible. But we are southern. <laughs> we're not southern enough. That our speak are terrible. <laughs> are you sure about that? Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, who got lines? Okay. Uh. Huh. You are being so silly today, Forth. I hope you took your time and digested my favorite breakfast like a good little girl. Little brother, why are you? My heart almost stops when I realize that I haven't been talking to little brother. Little brother is not here right now. He wants to get big sister, remember? Auntie, what are you doing in the playroom? I am not a licensed medical unit for- wait, what? Uh, I am not a licensed medical unit for- If you are experiencing confusion or dizziness, you should inform little brother as soon as he gets back. I stand up from a playroom table, but by the time I am on my feet, I am already in the kitchen. How did I get here? I was in the playground just a few seconds ago, and I have no memory of walking to the kitchen. What is going on did with you, me today? Did you just say playground? I mean, it's not that far off from play, the playroom. I don't think I said playground. Did I? Kind of sounded like it. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Is this what everybody was warning me about? Unnecessary details? If my memory, if is my memory getting worse all of this a sudden because of father? My heart has been racing a little faster ever since he promised to help me escape. There is a noticeable feeling of anticipation that hasn't left my body all day. Is this a new source of stress making my illness worse? I fight back my fear and try to put on a heavy face. <laughs> I am doing fine, Auntie. I was just lost in thought about how special my birthday has been. Well, that goes without saying. You only get my special birthday lunch once a year. Something this wonderful needs to be properly cherished. 
I eat her pasta at least three times a week. The cake is not going to be all that special, but I don't have the heart to say that to her face. I sit down on a stool and wait for little brother to arrive. When he does, he has big sister in tow. Oh, happy day. We get to see our darling little sister celebrate the best day of her life. What color do you think do you think the frosting will be this year? Uh beige? Considering that beige has been the color of the frosting for the last 17 years, that is a very good guess. Fourth, I have a feeling your winning streak is going to remain intact. Wow, uh, that's a very depressing cake. <laughs> Fucking beige cake. <laughs> I have good news and even better news for the first good news, fourth guessed correctly. As for the better news, I only know that she guessed correctly because the cake is ready. Oh. Aren't these foods that the sizes rattle to life, extruding an off-white paste through the long through a long flat slit, it forms the first layer of the cake, switching to another slit to make the next layer. Once the foul smelling pile is tall enough, she squirts the exact same mixture out through a star shaped hole, topping the mess with something resembling frosting. Lastly, a sp small pneumatic tube. In the table activates and the birthday candle shoots out through a cylindrical opening in the side. Auntie grabs it with her free hand and stabs it violently into the center of the cake. Jesus Christ stabs it violently. <laughs> Auntie dealing with some anger issues. <laughs> yeah. I, I would laugh if we just saw like a, a gif of the cake just splattering everywhere and she stabbed at the cake. <laughs> Aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> she touches one of her fingers to the wick and the candle sparks to life. The soft smell of burning wax fills my nose and I nervously watch the wick turn from white to black. Oh my gosh, hey Ray Rapids, how's it hanging? <laughs> I'll try not to pass out this time. <laughs> yeah. But Corm, if you're wondering who Ray Rapids is, they're the wonderful game creator of this game. Now is your big moment, fourth. Make a birthday request in line with your prior submission to mother. I always found it a little odd that I have to give my birthday request to mother the day before my birthday and then tell it to candle again. Oh, tell it to candle, God damn it! Tell it to the candle again after she has already rejected it. I close my eyes and blow out the candle. I figure that I need as much of it intact as possible to build father's bomb. So the less it burns now, the better it will be for me later. Auntie's hand turns into a fork and she lets me start my birthday meal. I hold the fork in one hand and stare blankly at the cake, mind buzzling so painfully that my vision is beginning to swim. The mission relies on me getting the candle out of the kitchen without my caretakers noticing. The same caretakers that are surrounding me on all sides are staring at me intently. Auntie floats close by, her face stuck in a perpetual smile as she waits my half-hearted compliments. Little brother stands across from me, blocking the door towards the atrium. He is not moving or speaking, just watching me. 
fixes her and said a word since she arrived, blocking a door back towards my bedroom. There's no way out of this room without being seen. My hands are shaking, are shaking and sweat. I always start over. My hands are shaking and sweat is dripping down my face and onto the, the plate in front of me. The pleasure. <laughs> the pleasure. <laughs> Sorry about that. The pressure just keeps building and I keep... It just keeps building and I feel like my head is about to explode. I have to get this right. Oh shit, we got a bunch of options. Oh no. I, uh... are, are you okay, Bright? This is an abnormally large amount of fuck-ups. I'm fine. Swap the candle with the crayon. Knock over the cake. Hide the candle. Ask for the candle as a present. Refuse to eat the cake. I mean, ask, ask for the candle as a present is the simplest option. Yeah. But I feel like it's also the least likely to work. Yeah. A second one is most likely maybe. Well, we do have a bunch of crayons, and and it's uh, it we don't we don't really know if they can actually see us or it's just heat signature. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to have like heat signatures. Oh, but a heat signature would still give away that the candle is a crayon, all of a sudden, because it's a fucking candle. Mm-hmm. So, I guess knock over the cake, hide the candle. Alright, there we go. It seems a little risky, but I bet I can get the candle out of the room if I cause a distraction. Wow, well, Auntie. The kink this year is so... Oh, I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be lean instead of leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I leave forward. <laughs> Just vanishes from the room. Oh no. Yeah. I I lean forward, pressing my elbow into the plate. The anti gravity servos resist me at first, but my full w weight tips it to the side far enough for the cake and the candle to slide off and fall onto the floor. <laughs> yeah, you're good, Ray Rapids. <laughs> yeah, this is. Oh no, don't worry, I'll clean up for you, Auntie. Oh, please wait a moment forth. That is not your responsibility. Uh oh. Ignoring Auntie, I fall to my hands and pretend to pick up handfuls of the awful cake. I spot the candle and hit it with the flat of my hand. Candle skids across the floor, rolling between Big Sister's legs and out into the hallway. Excuse me, Forth. I'm the only one proper, properly equipped to handle little accidents like this. Oh, really? You and those big, meaty fingers. <laughs> Why not allow the robot in charge of food to pick up the food? Are the robots fighting? Yep. Wait a minute, the robot. <laughs> Wait, is this. <laughs> They're fighting! Is it normal for the robot's programming to lead to them fighting? <laughs> Bookworm. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a notable question. Would the robots fighting increase or decrease the chances of us getting out of here? <laughs> Who knows? Fucking little bo brother pulls a Glock. <laughs> oh, God! With what? Your spoon? There are several options that result in robo-bickering. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So what if I use my spoon? It is built for picking up food. Honestly, I can't think of any utensil better suited for this particular task. While the two of them argue, I scoop up bits of the ruined cake and put it onto the plate. Auntie immediately begins to swallow up each handful into her garbage disposal. I am so sorry, Forth. It is not sanitary to eat food that has touched the floor. I will synthesize you additional food at dinner to make up for this deficit. It's fine, Auntie. I enjoyed the parts I already... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Error. Class 2 flammable material not detected. Auntie makes a noise I have never heard from her before. My whole body goes ri rigid, and I nearly th oh rigid. It's rigid, isn't it? <laughs> rigid. <laughs> All right. My whole it's body. Rigid. Okay. My whole body goes rigid, and I nearly throw out the cake from the fear. Forth, my dear, did you see where the candle went? No, Auntie. Maybe it was somewhere in the cake? Did you put it down your garbage disposal? Negative. No foreign materials detected in my intake. Big sister, please assist me in locating the class 2 material. Understood. Uh, begin search protocols. I can only watch in horror as Big Sister and Auntie zip around the room, their faces sweeping left and right to search for the missing candle. Maybe they won't find it out in the hallway. If there is no evidence of it here in the kitchen, they might just give up. No oh. fuck. Oh, here it is. It must have rolled out into the hall. I have to sit there and watch as little brother appears in the doorway, the candle held triumphantly over his head. Fuck. That was a close one. Flammable material like this should never be left unattended. Let me get rid of this for you, Forth. You know what? The crayons probably could have worked, Hatchet. Because I know there are some crayons that are made out of pure wax. And that could have... If that's what the crayons she got, they could trick. Well, I mean, yeah, but like... My yeah. the issue was the idea of heat sensors. True. So once the flame was out, then maybe. True. True. Hmm. Oh well. It would stay hot for a little bit. But yeah, maybe that is it. Yeah. Brother whistles a happy tune as he tosses the candle right into the pneumatic tube there's an airly slurping sound as the candle vanishes down the tube and is returned to wherever it goes until next year a lot of good that'll do me now I won't be alive by my next birthday oh yeah so that's the question is uh, is auntie's uh, food Flammable? Oh, not. God. Shame overwhelms me at that moment. What is going to happen when I tell father what happened? I really did ruin the escape plan now. How am I supposed to get the candle now? The rest of my afternoon goes by in a haze. I can't stop crying. Big sister doesn't even react as my worksheet slowly becomes soaked in my own tears. 
I am just a big failure. I don't deserve to escape, much less a lake to call my own. To regain my focus, I bite my bottom lip until I taste blood. The pain centers me, keeps me looking towards the future. There's still time. There's still time to fix my mistake. If I can get my, if I can get the pacto civiline from Mother, maybe I can still savage the mission. Big Sister tries to instruct me on advanced topology, but it's so e easy, I barely pay attention. What? Oh, uh, yes? I think we should pause our lesson right now to address what happened at lunch today. You made a rather serious mess of the kitchen today. I would be happy to clean it up if you are that upset with me. No, that is not your duty. Leave it to us. I just wish that you would act a bit more like the adult you clearly want to be treated as. I expect better from you in the future. Yes, big sister, I understand. No amount of scolding from Big Sister can erase the shame I feel for losing the candle. They reviewed the security logs from last night. There was a small mechanical error detected in your bedroom after lights out. Oh shit. Well... Little brother checked your door for me and said that he didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Now, I am not mad. I just want to know if you had anything to do with this. Did you try to open any of the maintenance panels on your bedroom door. I paused for a moment not because of what Big Sister asked me, but, bec but because of how easily the lie popped into my head. Not at all, Big Sister. I woke up at one point because I heard a loud noise, but I didn't see anything out of place, so I went back to sleep. Perhaps a bolt came loose or something like that. I'm not an expert on matters such as this, so I wouldn't be able to tell you anything of note. I suppose you are correct. The door was given a basic maintenance check, and nothing was found out of the ordinary. I just wanted to see what you had to input in regards to this tiny abnormality. Thank you for your honesty, for- At first, there's no guilt in comp- Company- Oh wait. At first, there's no guilt in company- My lie, but as soon enough, I feel guilt for my own lack of guilt. I just lied to my caretaker, and I didn't even feel bad about it. Wouldn't a good person always tell the truth to people? Who matter the most to them. I have to remind myself that Big Sister is just a machine. And she is just as much my jailer as mother. If I want to escape, I have to let go of silly things like guilt. Although that is much easier said than done. I finish up my work with a horrible knot growing in my gut. Threatening to make me heave up what remains of breakfast. 
boots on the ground, soldier. We need to get you uh, to dinner. Understood, ma'am. The next step in my mission has already begun. I have ripped up a part of my dress and pulled out a good deal of thread ahead of time. I need to get it right this time. No more screw-ups. My hands are already shaky and, and a weird painful pressure is building up in the middle of my forehead. Take a few deep breaths, focusing on the task at hand. I can do this. I just need to stop thinking that over and over in my head. Auntie serves meat again tonight. It's been a while since she served anything else for dinner, so I guess my luck is holding out. I ate my dinner without saying a word, matching a subdued mood from the other caretakers. Little brother hasn't even tried to make a joke yet, and big sister isn't even looking at me. When I get to the last bite, I put it in my mouth and pretend to chew. Auntie never lets me take food out of the kitchen. So it seemed like my best option. How was your dinner, Fourth? I smile and give her a thumbs up. Try my best and I'll let any drool out of my mouth. That is a totally acceptable reaction. Big sister and little brother dropped me off at the intersection like they always do. I only have a few minutes before mother shows up, so I get right to work. I spit out a wad of meat into my hand and quickly wrap it up in the square of red cloth I used to thread. I used to thread to tie it shut, leaving a small opening at the top big enough for the point of a needle. I used the tread. I know, I don't know why I said tread. Oh no, it was the uh, spelling error. Oh, I read it as thread. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't much to look at, but apparently Father is going to turn this bag of mush into a bomb. I still have a few doubts that this is, is going to work. I left a little loop in the thread so I can stick my middle finger through so I didn't so I don't drop it. I cover the bag with my hand and try to straighten out my dress before Mother arrives. Never dreamed of tricking Mother so brazenly before. A small part of me is excited, but the majority of my mind is gripping with an unending terror. I can do this. I can do this. Mother is getting closer, and the whole hallway shudders a little as she forces her massive bloated body through the vents. All the confidence I tried to accumulate crumbles to dust in a split second. My breath gets shallower and shallower as mother makes her grand entrance. Hello mother. I know your time is precious so I appreciate your presence this evening. There she is. My child. My heartbeat. My reason to live. You caused quite a stir recently, haven't you, my darling? I'm s I assume you're referring to the... I'm talking about your behavior today. Both the little brother and big sister share such strange things to me and their nightly reports. During one of his patrols, little brother said he, he could make a lot of unnecessary noise um, in your bedroom. During one of his patrols, little brother said he could make a lot of unnecessary noise in your bedroom. Is that supposed to be here instead of make? Probably. Uh, Almost like you were talking to someone. Of yeah, course. Yeah, that, is that is ludicrous, since no one else was in your room at the time. Isn't that correct? 
I was talking to myself, mother, but only because oh, I was okay. so excited for my birthday. Did your birthday live up to your expectation? Be honest with me, boy. Uh, even though I didn't get any presents, today was still... So, presents play a major factor in your enjoyment? You are admitting that material goods and privileges are what matters most to you. Not at all, Mother. I was just trying to explain. Have you considered how limited our resources are in this place? That everything you enjoy comes as a sacrifice to our total amount of supplies? A gift here or there might not make much of a difference, but these things add up forth. Have you realized just how selfish you are being right now? You're right, Mother. Presents aren't what makes me happy on my birthday. So what is it that makes you happy, boy? My, my family does. Spending time with little brother, big sister, auntie, and you. Anyone else? I freeze. Is this her way of telling me that she knows about father? Is she trying to trick me into admitting that I'm hiding him? There isn't anyone else in my family, mother. Just the four caretakers and myself. Very well, then. It is time for your treatment. You know what to do. I shake off the swirling thoughts inside my head and get ready for my nightly treatment. Mother misses one of her needles during the first set of injections and has to start all over again. I think she missed on purpose just to hurt me even more. I stare silently at the dried blood stains on the wall in front of me while she drains my spinal fluids. The pain is so intense that I end up biting the side of my tongue and I taste a hint of blood. Mother seems to be taking her time with tonight's checkup. She leaves the suction active for just a little bit too long and I start to feel a distant dizziness overtake me. The tubes are just draining blood at this point and for a horrible moment it seems like Mother is just going to let them keep running until there is nothing left. After what feels like an eternity, she removes the syringes and sprays my back with healing gel. All that's left is your mess. Then you'll be as healthy as can be. It all comes down to this moment. I squeeze my hand around the bag of meat, keeping my fingers together so it remains hidden from sight. Can Mother actually see me? The other caretakers don't have any built-in visual sensors. But I can't shake the thought that Mother might have grown eyes somewhere on that awful body of hers. Mother's largest syringe unfolds from the mass of quivering flesh on her upper body. I take in a deep breath and hold the bag of meat right above my own forearm. It's hard to grab the tip of the needle with the bag in my hand, but I manage to guide it to the place without looking suspicious. My mother pushes the needle in. I intentionally draw my arm back a little. The needle jams into the half-chewed meat and there's an audible squinching sound as the sticky turquoise medicine leaks out into the bag. I can feel some of the pactocybaline spilling out onto my fingers and it burns sli slightly on contact. All I can do is hold my breath and wait for mother to leave. Only 364 days until your next birthday. I want to see you do everything and your petter. God damn it. I want to see everything you do. Everything in your power to do better next year. 
Maybe then I'll let you have another present once you earn it. That is. Good night, my lovely little four. Never doubt how much your mother loves you. I will keep you safe. You just have to trust me. As soon as she is out of sight, I tuck the bag into my dress. It feels cold against my skin as the pact of civiline soaks into the fabric. I didn't get the candle, but at least I got the pact of civiline to try and tell myself it's better than nothing, that it doesn't bring me much comfort right now. My brother has arrived right away, and I'm left standing in a pool of, of mother's sticky black blood. I can't wait to get back to my room and clean this gunk off me. I stare into the distance, trying to make sense of all the buzzing noises in my head. Somewhere in the distance, I hear a strange sort of whisper. It isn't like a normal intrusive thought, but more like a memory. It feels like someone is trying to talk to me, trying to tell me something important. No matter how much I try to focus, their voice remains too faint to properly hear. My mind has been so scattered today, I can't focus on any one emotion long enough to digest it whole. Instead, I just feel tired, like I haven't got a good night's sleep for a very long time. Hello again, my darling fourth. I hope your checkup with mother has been productive and fulfilling. I just want to go to bed. Okie dokie, fourth, to your bedroom it is. Boy, that sure was some birthday, wasn't it? That you and I will look back on today and just crack it up. Do you agree with me, fourth? I guess. Sensational. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Oh boy. I wish the future was here already. <laughs> <laughs> but the only way tomorrow will find us is after a good night's sleep. Good night, my dearest sister. I will be here in the morning to embark on a brand new adventure with you. Doesn't that sound nice? Yeah, sure. I just... I always imagined that things would be different after I turned 18. Different? How? I don't know. All the stuff I've... Red says that adults, they know things. They can do whatever they want, go whenever they please. Adults always seem to make all the decisions. I'm not a kid anymore, but I don't feel like an adult either. That is perfectly normal for humans your age. Being an adult is something that has to be earned through experience. Not something that just happens overnight. All I'm hearing is youth liberation. <laughs> well then, how do I earn it? What experiences could I possibly have while trapped in here? If we are being honest, I do not fully understand adults. I was programmed to protect and entertain infants, children, and teenagers. You are my first and only patient. I guess you were supposed to be assigned a newer, more advanced caretaker once you got old enough. However, there is no new caretakers available right now. 
I know I am not fully optimized to be your caretaker now that you are growing older, but I hope you still find ways to rely on me in the future. I want you to be happy no matter what sort of person you grow into. You are my sister now, and you will be until the day I am decommissioned. You really mean that? Of course, I do not have the capacity for duplicity or manipulation. You are my family, and that is a bona fide certainty. Huh. What? Nothing. Uh. You. You always manage to cheer me up, little brother. There's no way I'd ever want another caretaker. Oh, damn it all. You made me lose track of the time. Good night, fourth. Good night, little brother. <laughs> I am not smart enough to lie. <laughs> Oh. I cannot manipulate you. I dumb. <laughs> little brother leaves and I can resist giggling. Oh wait. Little brother leaves and I can't resist giggling to myself. For the first time since finding father, I realize just how much I'm going to miss him. I hadn't given him any thought, but if I actually manage to escape... I'm going to have to leave behind the only people I've ever cared about. No, not people. Robots. Why do I always forget that? There are real people out there in the universe that I could. Of course, I can't meet other people. Not while I'm still contagious. Maybe I'm just meant to be alone. I'd rather be around robots than, no than nobody at all. So for me, what difference is there between a robot and real person. These sort of thoughts aren't going to do anything but stress me out. I have to focus on the plan, on my escape. Getting away from mother should be my only goal right now. I don't feel ready to talk to father at the moment, so I go to the bathroom and wash up. I hold my face under the floor under the faucet for a long time, trying to cleanse myself from all the awful feelings. Eventually, when I'm feeling a bit more like myself, I retrieve my father and sit on the corner of my bed. Father, it's safe for us to talk now. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you just fine. How are you feeling right now? Physically, mentally, anything out of the ordinary? Well, today a few things happened. Like what? Well, in the morning, little brother either lied to me or my memory must have been failing. I yelled at him the other night, but when I tried to apologize, he insisted that it never happened. That's... Oh wait, I was about to do robot voice again. <laughs> That's odd. I have a feeling that little brother's programming must be to blame for this. I see nothing in his code that would make him lie like that. I can ignore that for now. I doubt it is anything serious. Then, I had a gap appear in my memory today. I thought I was in the playroom but was actually in the kitchen. I have no memory of walking to the playroom to the, from the playroom to the kitchen. I just blinked and suddenly I was somewhere else. That's a bad sign, right? That I lost a portion of my days like that? I won't lie. That is a commonly recorded symptom. Has this happened to you before? I don't know. I don't remember. 
this is concerning. Would you please let me know whether something like this happens again? Yeah, I can do that, sir. Very good. In the grand scheme of things, these symptoms are just little hiccups. Not anything life-threatening. You're going to be okay, boy. Whatever you say, father. Now, did you get the candle? I tried to get it, but... But I just... The words catch in my throat, and before I know what's happening, I break down in, into tears. Four. Take some time to cry. When you are ready, tell me what's upsetting you. I tried to get the candle, but the caretakers took it from me. Hey, let's not work crying over. While you were gone today, I looked into other way for us to get the candle. There's another way? We can unlock the door and go directly to where the candle is stored. I'll be with you every step of the way, so you won't be alone. So I haven't ruined the escape plan? Far from it. Did you at least get the pet pet Did you get the weird slimy goo stuff? Yeah, I got a whole bag full of meat soaked in it. The bag is still soggy and meat inside now has a very odd sweet smell coming off of it. Next, you'll need to add your toothpaste and a small amount of water to the bag. Really? How is toothpaste going to help us make a bomb? This type of toothpaste has a modified version of propylene glycol in it. When it comes into contact, with oxidized hectolot the the Ugh I didn't sign up for these big words. <laughs> it can create glycerol. We can get into the specifics later. But what's important is that it will become reactive enough to explode when exposed to open flame. Which we can make using the candle. Bingo. Then we just need to use the electrical spark of the air filter turning on and boom. Is bingo another slayer a swear word? <laughs> no. Okay. Add the toothpaste and leave the bag open near one of air vents. Do I just leave the meat in there? Yeah, leave it in. As it starts to rot, it will produce... Oh, dear God. <laughs> As it starts to rot, it will produce... Diet... Diamino butane 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 let's butane at the end. Diamino butane which will actually help with the reaction we want. Be careful though, because it will start to stink for it soon. I follow the father's instructions. I squirt a large quantity of toothpaste into the bag and mush it to get into the meat and pack the civiline. It is already starting to smell pretty bad. I can only imagine what it will smell like once it's ready. Okay, the bomb is mixed and it's sitting by the air vent. What do we do now? We can go get can get the candle while we wait. The bomb won't be in a reactive state for about 24 hours. I'm ready now. I won't mess things up this time. You didn't mess anything up. 
You don't have to be so black and white about this. If I can't be honest with you, sir, this is life or death for me. If I can't escape from here, then I don't think anything else will matter. I want to tell you that... I want to tell you that you're wrong. But if it's life and death for you, then it's the same for me. Now let's get going. Plug me into maintenance panel and head towards the atrium. I use father to unlock my bedroom door, then take him with me as I head out into the cold, dark hallways. I've done this one before. I can do it again. I slow down my breathing and take in the cold station around me. As long as I keep a strong focus on my goal and listen carefully for danger, I am going to be alright. I take a few careful steps, wincing a little with each step. Are you alright, Forth? Yeah, just getting used to the cold. I would turn on the heating for you, but I think that would attract too much attention. You can do this. Just keep moving to keep yourself warm. God damn it. I actually picked preferences. <laughs> I keep moving, following the holographic map Father gave me. The atrium should be right through the kitchen. Even with how well I know this part of the station, I still worry about getting lost. I can't rely on my memory for anything these days. I sneak through the kitchen and end up right in front of the atrium's big glass doors. I plug father into another maintenance panel, and the atrium is unlocked. The atrium feels oddly peaceful at night. Unlike the rest of the station, the temperature controls stay on after lights out. I take a minute to stand right in the middle, absorbing whatever warmth lingers here moving before moving forward. Alright, it should be straight shot from here to the elevator. Just keep going forward as soon as the doors are open. Do you see any of the caretakers care <laughs> care patrolling this section of the station? I press my face up against the glass and peer into the darkness in front of me. It's hard to tell, but the hallway looks empty to me. The path is clear, sir. I'm ready. I plug father into the underside of the keypad that locks the exit to the atrium. It only takes a few seconds, but the door slides open, and I'm able to press onwards. This part of the station is entirely new to me. I check the map and see rooms that only exist as fragmented memories. Did Big Sister ever let me explore this far? I think she might have, but that was so long ago that it might as well have never happened. The doors here all seem to be locked, but Father directs me towards the largest one. Plug me into the keypad, and we can move to the next floor. Do you think Mother will notice that the elevator starts moving? Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. I think I know a workaround. In the cold of in the cold of the actual elevator, I can change the names of the individual floors. The security will port the same number and the elevator won't look as if it moved at all. It will go from floor five to another floor five or something like that. Okay, I'm counting on that to work. God damn it, I keep getting references. <laughs> it's like 99 perfect. I'm like 99 perfect sure. I think that's supposed to be percent. Oh no. I'm... <laughs> Right, 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 left. 
99% sure that this will work. Oh, you had that 1% chance. Yep. 94% at worst. I love to gamble. You're welcome, Ray Rapids. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Holding my breath, I plug father into the keyboard pad. Wait, keyboard. How did I get keyboard from elevator? I plug father <laughs> into the keyboard pad. You skipped the word elevator and added keyboard to the word keypad. Oh my god. It's like you're trying to be a failure. Shut up. <laughs> Holding my breath, I plug father into the elevator keypad. It, he beeps a few times, and then the large silver door slides open. I already picked the destination. Just step in and enjoy the ride down. Elevator. <laughs> the doors close behind me, and the elevator begins to rumble. For a moment, I can feel a strange sort of weightlessness in my gut. But it ends before I can fully process what is going on. The doors open and I am struck by sight beyond anything I could have ever imagined. I walk away from the elevator and find myself standing in a cavernous room even bigger than the atrium. Everywhere I look there are plants, not fake plants, but real living plants. Large hydroponic planters hang from every available section of ceiling, layered atop one another for maximum yield. The leaves are all crisp and green, with small nozzles installed in the rafters to periodically spray them with a cool mist. The air is humid and the floor is covered with a metal mesh to act as a giant drain. The smell is overpowering and fantastic, like nothing I've ever experienced before. It smells so alive. I've read books about flowers, but nothing could prepare me for the gentle sweetness that drifts through the ventilated air down here. I can't put into words the joy that is spreading through my mind. Did you make it into the greenhouse? Oh, Father, if only you could see this right now. This is the most beautiful place in the entire station. Don't get distracted. You are still in a restricted area. Stay alert, no matter what you see. Fine, but I'm going to tell you all about this place as soon as we are safe. I'm looking forward to it. Just focus on the task at the end. I tear myself away from the greenery and keep moving. The planters are arranged rather chaotically, so I end up having to zigzag through them like a little maze. As I walk past, I get to see all sorts of new plants. There are whole, whole rows of onions, celery, potatoes, rutabaga, carrots, cabbage, and dozens more I can't even name. My concentration completely shatters when I come across a row of the most incredible plants I have ever seen. I think it's some kind of fruit, but I don't know what it's called. The only textbooks I've read on plants didn't go into much detail about edible plants. That's a motherfucking strawberry. Yep. There's a faint sugary scent coming from this fruit, and the skin looks so ripe that I worry it will burst from the slightest touch. Before I know what I'm doing, I pluck one from its vine and take a bite. Oh, so that's what food is supposed to taste like. 
Olaf, what are you doing? Father's words failed to reach me through the haze of utter bliss. I now find myself within. I grab handfuls of, of the delicious fruits, stuffing them in my mouth three or four at a time. Both, I don't think it's wise to be touching anything in the greenhouse. Auntie keep, properly keeps a very close eye on the exact number of plants down here. OMG4. Just a few more and then I'll stop. No, no, girl, you're gonna compromise it. The fruit tastes sweet and just a little tart. I figure out pretty quickly that the leaves don't have any flavor and start spitting them out. Gods, now I want strawberries, damn it. <laughs> it's a good thing that I'm escaping from here soon. I don't think I can eat anything from Auntie's kitchen ever again. Oof. I demand you stop eating at once. Fine. I'll move on. But you have no idea how good these things taste. If you had a mouth, you wouldn't stop either. There are hundreds of these fruits. I don't think Auntie will miss any. Father just lets out an electronic sigh and waits for me to lick my fingers clean. It's fine, just make sure you don't leave any evidence behind. I pick up the scraps I dropped on the floor and hastily bury them in the soft soil of a neighboring planter. Before I move on, I nab a few more and tuck them into my dress. A little snack for later can't hurt. I make my way out of the greenhouse and into... There's another kitchen in here? Looks exactly like the one upstairs. Looking around, I notice that this kitchen is actually better stocked than the one upstairs. There are more pots and pans, and the stoves have real charring at the top. On the top, now we bring incriminating evidence with us. <laughs> this is probably where Auntie prepares the individual ingredients she loads into a food synthesizer. It smells way better in here than it does upstairs. Is she secretly cooking good food without letting me taste any of it? True, Rabbits. <laughs> yeah. True. True. I wouldn't be su I wouldn't be surprised if she experiments with different recipes down here. That still doesn't explain why she won't let me try any of her experiments. Auntie's code is locked into hospice mode. She prioritizes pure nutritional intake over flavor. Please tell me there's a way to change that code. Nope. The calorie intake is... Too high up on the priority list. Any changes would alert Mother almost immediately. That's really disappointing. What swear word would work best right now? Fuck. Probably ah oh, shit. <laughs> ah shit. Enough joking around. The candle should be stored nearby. Check the cabinets. I start rummaging around in this bizarre duplicate kitchen. Each cabinet is filled with frying pans, cooking pots, cutting boards, and Tupperware. Ah! What? Y y you okay? My fen fen jumped up onto me out of nowhere. <laughs> Stop! He's Just... headbutting my face! Just all of a sudden... I just hear you scream! <laughs> Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> He's my sweet little fen fen. Oh. Anyways. Eventually, I open a drawer full of silverware and find 
my birthday candle locked inside a small glass tube. The tube itself is bolted to the bottom of the drawer. <laughs> Book carved. Then we're wishing to be a part of this. <laughs> I found it, but I can't get it out. Is there any way to unlock this thing? Yeah. And they think shop a planable. Planable. <laughs> Anything shop or flammable is considered a class 2 material and needs administrative control to access. Jesus. There should be a console near the smoke detector. Plug me in and you'll have it open in no time. I do what I'm told and Father goes quiet while he hacks into the system. It seems to be taking a lot longer than normal. So I take a little time to explore my surroundings. Already having a lot more fun than I did last night. The fear is still there and my heart is hammering in my chest. But I've gotten a little more comfortable with breaking the rules so blatantly. I try not to let the thrill of rebellion distract me too much from the task at hand. I open a few more cabinets examining the odd cooking implements Auntie has never used in front of me. There are metal devices in, in here that I don't even have a name for. I open the drawer right next to the one with the candle. There are more forks and spoon in this one and... Looked in a similar security tube is a large shiny knife. The knife Auntie lets me use at dinner is dull and has a soft plastic tip. But this one is polished to a dangerous point that reflects the light back into my eyes. There is almost a strange beauty to the utensil, with a slight curve in the handle and the flat gleam of the actual blade. There is a tiny red light on the hilt that pulses like a heartbeat. It's the first time I've ever seen a weapon. The whole station is entirely... It, the whole station is made entirely of soft curves and padded corners. Something like this could hurt. I see she's a fellow blade enjoyer. Yeah. <laughs> the thought never occurred to me to arm myself. A knife wouldn't do anything to the metal frames of my caretakers. But Mother isn't made of just metal anymore. Father's still busy interfacing with the console, so I can't ask him about his, this knife. I know it's stupid, but I am overcome with the urge to take it for myself. Should I steal it, or would it be safer to just ignore it? Father chips back to life, and there is it is the smallest hint of panic in his voice. Security is temporarily disabled. The second you grab it, run for the elevator. We don't have much time. The tube securing the candle opens with a loud hiss of air. At the same time, I hear multiple hisses co coming from several other drawers all around the kitchen. Father must have disabled all of the class 2 security glasses, including the knife is just sitting there right in front of me. If I'm fast enough, I could grab both the knife and the candle. I mainly brought back to reality. This is bad. This is a bad idea, and Father sounded really frightened. I should just leave it. I know where it is now. So I could always come back if I really needed it. But what if the time comes where I do need it and I'm empty handed? Oh, the alarm is about to trigger. Do you have the candle? Hmm. Uh, we might not have enough time to get the knife. Hmm. I... Yeah, like my first instinct is... You know, it's a good idea for us to be armed. And actually, come to think of it, decisions, decisions, this book. I feel like the knife fight might be noticed yeah. more easily than the candle. The candle only gets used once per year. Mm -hmm. The knife, we don't know how much the knife is used. Yeah, so, so leave it behind. Yeah, probably leave the knife behind. If all goes well, we won't need to be armed anyway. Besides, what could you actually, like, like, 
what's the most damage that thing could do to Mother anyway? Yeah, you just make it gush a little bit while Mother just stares at you like you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of a fucking paper cut to her. Yeah. I stare at my own hand, my fingers ready to curl around the handle of the knife. I don't know why, but I expected my hand to be shaking. Instead, my hand is completely still, frozen halfway to the knife. And I want to move my arm, I just take a few steps back. The bigger the distance between me and that knife, the more control I gain over myself. I have a frustrated sigh and redirect myself towards the candle. What good would a knife do against something as big and horrible as Mother? I don't even think stabbing her would do anything. She'd just grow more of whatever I managed to cut out of her. Oh, that too. Yeah. She would just regenerate. Yeah. Okay, Father, I have the candle. Good. As soon as I reactivate the alarms, we can head back to elevator and... Red lights flash in the kitchen and alarm sets... Alarm starts to blare in my ears. I hide a candle in my dress and grab Father from the console. Okay, so I might have reactivated some subsystems. In the wrong order. Don't worry, I only managed to trigger three of the seven alarms. <laughs> Can you stop talking? We're all running away right now. Got it. My bad. I start running, making my way back to the greenhouse. The twisting rows of planters now forming an inescapable roadblock. Trying to make my way around the planters weaving left and right, just to make a few feet of progress. Once it becomes clear that I'm getting nowhere fast, I duck underneath the planters and start crawling on my hands and knees. As it turns out, crawling underneath the planters was the right idea. Not a moment later, a chute above me opens, and a familiar little robot comes flying into the greenhouse. Bookworm. Intruder detected. This area is off limits to all patients and crew. If cross-contamination is detected within food storage, all trespassers will be liable for Category 7 Administrative Punishment. I can hear Auntie patrolling the greenhouse just over my head. Father said that the caretakers might have their own built-in motion and heat sensors, but I can't rest being caught by her. I crawl about halfway across the greenhouse and come out under a row of large hanging ferns. They hide me from view just enough that I can get a good look at the path ahead of me. Auntie has come to a stop right in front of the exit to the elevator. She seems to be standing guard, her little body swiveling one way then the other, like she's performing a scan on the entire room. I pull father close to my face and whisper into his microphone as quietly as I can. Father, Auntie is blocking my way out. What should I do to get past her? That is not a whisper, Bright. I don't care. <laughs> it's a loud whisper. <laughs> Auntie isn't built for security detail, so her only sensors should be... Too late. I remember that Father can't control his own volume. Auntie swivels around and begins floating directly towards my hiding place. I figured it out. Your primary sensor is noise. Stop talking. I clamp both hands around Father to silence him entirely as I duck back down onto the floor. I scramble away from Auntie, watching the pale pink glow of her screen cast shadows on the ground behind me. Auntie is hunting me based on sound, so my options are pretty limited. Either I make no sound at all, or I need to use loud noises to lure her somewhere else. A little reluctantly, I pull out a handful of stolen fruits from my dress. I eat one for good luck, then hurl the others as hard as I can in the opposite direction of the exit. Okay, depending on what the strawberries hit, I don't think they're going to make much noise. I mean, yeah, but if they hit like a wall, yeah, I imagine it'll, be, it'll, it'll make some sound. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, little Ken Fen. Fen, please. Intruder detected. Please reveal yourself immediately and surrender without resistance. Off day sails past and begins the search searching on the far side of the greenhouse. I take advantage of this window and bolt for the elevator. As I kind of step in the elevator, father sends it back up to the living quarters. My entire body aches from the effort and I slide to the floor of the elevator to catch my breath. The adrenaline wears off and I suddenly overcome with fear. What would have happened if auntie found me? Being caught outside my room is one thing, but on an entirely different floor, mother might just kill me on the spot if she found out. I run back to my bedroom is mercifully uneventful. Father opens the doors in and out of the atrium, and there seems to be no caretakers patrolling this side of the living quarters. I collapse onto my bed, holding the candle in both hands, as if I'm trying to confirm that it's real. I can't believe I got away after that. Fourth, are you safe? Did you get the candle? Yes, the both, sir. I hold up the candle into the air triumphantly. It is cold and sticky in my hands, and... Bits of old cake fall and hit me in the face. Are you okay? You didn't touch yourself, did you? My knees hurt a little, but I'm feeling incredible right now. I tricked Auntie Sensors and, and I got real food for once. I hear Father make a noise that's halfway between a sign and a groan. Let's focus on what matters. We got the candle and the bomb is fermented. Regardless of what happened tonight, that counts as a win. Can you tell me a little bit more about the escape plan? What do we do once the bomb is ready? Well, when it's time, we are going to try to get to the elevator on the starboard side of the living quarters. We'll ride it down to the lower levels, until I get into one of the maintenance tunnels. There should be an opening near one of the replacement tunnels where you can plant the bomb. You'll break some of the wax off the candle, tie the wick to an exposed wire, and just walk away. The bomb will go off triggering the emergency escape pods and will use the tunnels to get you to the lowest section of the station. The only detail I still need to figure out is how to distract your caretakers. The moment the bomb goes off, they're going to try and trigger a lockdown. If we can keep them busy long enough, we can get you to the lower levels before the lockdown starts. I'm sure you'll figure something out, Father. You've been able to figure out this much so far. I appreciate your faith in me. We can come up with a solid distraction tomorrow night. You should take it easy until then. I think that would be a good idea. I'm pretty tired right now. I'm just gonna go to bed. You need your rest. You did more than I could have ever done on my own. That's more than enough. Good night, father. Sleep well, Fort. I'll boot back up in the morning to check up on you. The screen goes dark and I tuck him away under the mattress. Another day is coming to an end. One of the strangest birthdays in recent memory. To be honest, it's the only birthday in recent memory, but I don't think any of them can compare to what I went through today. I go through my evening routine and try to ignore the ball that is oxidizing in my bed bathroom. I get into my pajamas and lie down in my bed. I can do this. I know I can. 
Something is very wrong with my dream tonight. Before it even starts, I can taste iron in my mouth. My leg is infected. Tendrils of blood swirl around in the water like oil, refusing to mix fully. I can see golden creatures writhing below the surface, like long flat worms with wispy feelers growing out of their tails. I somehow just know that this is all my fault. I brought the sickness upon the lake. I tainted it just by association. I am not worthy of my lake anymore. I am like a walking cancer, a malignant curse given human form. Is this what really waits for me outside the station? Somewhere beautiful that will be corrupted the moment I arrive? This is the result of my own selfishness. How stupid do I have to be to think that I can outrun my own wickedness? By some form of mercy, the dream is cut short, replaced with a comforting darkness. There is nothing out here, just oblivion. Let my consciousness drift away into the void. I can feel the distant sensation of waves rolling over me, rocking my body gently back and forth. This can't be my future. There has to be some way for me to live without infecting others. I wake up from my dream for the first time in a long time. I'm, I am actually happy that it ended. I simply hope that tonight's dream isn't a sign of what's to come. It must have been brought on by stress and nothing more. I keep telling myself that as I get up and get ready for my day, I get dressed, brush my teeth, and do my best to not gag at the horrible smell wafting up from the bomb. Four. We don't have much time before your caretaker arrives. I retrieve father from under my mattress and hold him up so I can hear him better. Bum will be ready by tonight, isn't that right? Yes, this is going to be your last day aboard this station. I need to grab my anomalies. By tomorrow morning, you're going to be light years away from Mother. It's hard to believe that any of this is real. Last night, I found a way to cause our distraction. That's great. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm surprised by the conviction in my words. My leg is closer to me now than it has ever been before. I'm escaping tonight, no matter what stands in my way. I was looking over the handful of data that remained before I was uh, destroyed. My confidence wavers a little, Try not to... Re Relive just how awful that day was. Bits and pieces still appear in my mind if I concentrate hard enough. I can see Father standing in the doorway, his one red eye glowing so bright that I can't look him directly in the face. Mother is pleading. She's begging him not to, not to. I don't exactly remember what sh she wanted Father to do. Shake off the memories and try to focus on what Father is telling me. Oh, did Father from the beginning want to get you off? And that's why Mother ate him? Maybe. Hmm. Most of the data from that... from that day has been fully expunged. Mother probably wanted to hide whatever horrible thing she did to me. But the moment I went offline... An error log was uploaded to all three of the other caretakers. There is something in their collective programming that we might be able to take advantage of. But I don't know if you'll be able to handle it. I've taken on nearly everything the station has thrown at me. You can trust me, Father. When I was destroyed, the other caretakers' caretakers' routines 
was thrown into an emergency shutdown mode. My role in this station was tied to certain everyday functions that all the other caretakers relied upon. They needed to know what I was going to do each day so that they could adjust accordingly. All of my programmed responsibilities were categorized and I divided up so and divided up so the other caretakers could take over in my absence. By default, this delegation process puts them into a the third alarm plays, meaning that little brother is going to be outside my door any second. Hurry up, father. Just tell me what I need to do today. What what needs to happen for our escape tonight? When one of the caretakers suffers irreparable damage, the others all shut down for exactly one hour to assimilate the damaged caretakers' routines into their own. It's an emergency feature to ensure none of the caretakers' functionality is unaccounted for. When one of the dies, the gap left between behind needs to be filled. Oh, so in no. other words, we have to kill one of our caretakers. What, what do you want me to do? Fourth. Auntie, little brother, big sister. You're going to have to kill one of them. It's the only way we can escape. And that's the end of the demo. Yep. Yeah. The demo covers the first three acts of Mother's Favorite. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Yeah, that... All musical tracks are in the demo are created uh... by Ray Rapids. Here we go. Ah. Three. Version coming along with original soundtrack scheduled to be released in summer 2024. We. Oui. Sweet. I'd like to thank my wonderful spouse for proofreading this game, as well as numerous contributors from RenP Discord who answered my many questions. Thank you for time time to play this game, and your. There was an ad, and what did I miss? <laughs> well, we got done with it. Yeah. Fourth story will conclude soon. Can't wait to share it with you. We finished it. Yeah, this is an actually good game. Yeah, this is... I'll, I'll stick to my previous statement. I think this is easily in the top three. Uh graphic visual graphic novels visual novels we've looked through on this channel all right i'm gonna do something real quick hopefully i actually did what my phone did but i want it to do What are you trying to do, Bright? Don't worry about it for the moment. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no problem. I we, I really did enjoy this. Yeah, this was this was a very solid game. And. Now I just have to wait half a year to see what's next. I don't like waiting. I should be used to it, though. I hope that 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 doesn't mean to put pressure on you or anything. Yeah. I'm just an impatient person. Also, oh, just wondering, out of curiosity of Ray Rapids, do you have a Twitter? Is 
is my first attempt at a game, so I am very nervous. I will use that as motivation. Aww. Well, this gives, just gives us time to discuss what caretaker it killed. No! Oh god. I feel like Auntie would be the easiest. Yeah. No, but I use Tumblr. Ah. Uh, I don't have Tumblr. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I might be able to get your Tumblr page. Give me a moment. Sees that one meme of physically I, I could kill a capybara, but emotionally. <laughs> Auntie is the one. <laughs> Alright, in three, two, one. I have now say three, two, one. I have now tweeted out saying uh, my fans should definitely go check out your game because this was a good game and I, I feel like uh, they should definitely go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, let me get the next. <laughs> So much fun watching you hearing the commentary and your voices. Yeah. yeah. No problem. I I absolutely love voicing mother because I, I absolutely love voicing monster characters, sinister characters, or manipulative characters. It's one of the fun things I do. Other voices I struggle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like voicing mother and also playing the game was really fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, Bright, do you mind me doing a quick bit of self-promotion? I guess. Go ahead. I was just going to say, um, I'm guessing you've already followed Bright, Prey Rapids, but, uh, also, I am streaming here on Twitch as well. At times, I'm, I've basically only been doing Elder Scrolls stuff, but you're always welcome over there if you want to pop in. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> yeah. Oh but yeah. Yeah, this was a very That's fun time. Yeah. There's actually one thing I absolutely do not believe. Love Hitler schools. Yeah. I absolutely believe that uh, we won't have time for this. I will play it Sunday, but it's basically the NES Godzilla Creepypasta game. I found it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to play the shit out of that. That's one of my favorites. It is so awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. But for now, we got the sequel to Unsorted Disc, Unsorted VHS. 
Oh, hell yeah. First, let me load up Twitch Studio. That way I can have chat appear on the game. Oh, yeah, and I guess... Uh, have you two been talking in Discord? Ray Rapids? Yeah. No, I don't think we have. It was, uh, through okay. email. Yeah. Oh, okay, I get you. Because I was thinking it'd probably be a good idea, like, once the Discord server... It is open. It back up. Oh, you opened it back up? Yeah, it's open. Okay, then, yeah. Um, down there in the, uh... Let me check, make sure this server started. link is still there. Yeah. No welcome in our Discord server as well. I say R as if I have anything to do with its maintenance. Right. <laughs> yeah, it is. I can hop into your Discord instead. Yeah. Okay. You'd be very welcome in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, shh. Oh. If I see them, so let me get. Okay, Carl, but that's the wrong channel, but okay. <laughs> you posted sure. a welcome message. Oh, wait, no, we got rid of the welcome channel, that's right, so yeah, they do go here. <laughs> Alright, let me get rid of that. Mod stuff for a moment. The collective hour. <laughs> but yeah, if you're ever around when I'm streaming, you're welcome over there. Welcome to Discord. Welcome everywhere. just realized how am I going to stream this in Discord because it opens up a new window each time you go to a different game which means I have to constantly leave the game come back in here oh god rip now I remember why I streamed this out of Discord PC the prequel but that's fine I can I can handle doing that it's fine I was going to say like if you want I, we could just continue with just me being in chat Eh, it's it's whatever. I don't mind it. It's not like I'll miss anything. Okay, it already looks spookier. Oh no, not spookier. And of course. OBS wants to put it, like, so fucking huge. Oh yeah, now I can probably move you over. <laughs> oh yeah. I... I hereby declare myself to no longer be your fucking hat. <laughs> now you're just a hat on the floor. <laughs> no. I'm just, I'm not a hat. Uh, but, yeah, do let me know if the game is a bit loud, because I can change volume at any time. Wait, what, what the fuck? Why did it do that? No, that's, that's the Twitch chat. <laughs> I clicked on certain VHS and it went to Twitch chat. So, uh, for everyone that knows, uh, right, live stream, nothing but at for a second in Discord. <laughs> but yeah, this does look creepier. Yeah. So I'm excited for that too. Let me open Twitch so I can go here, go here, go here, so I can see Twitch chat. We really need to get you on the monitor. Alright. 
yeah, Bookworm, if it is louder in my voice, let me know. And Ray Rabbits, if, it, if you're still here, if it's louder in my voice, let me know. But yeah. Like this. Oh. You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tapes sits in front of you. Last, I'll say, before moving on, you manage to avoid all the jump scares in the demo by the skin of your teeth. Volume is a little loud, <laughs> but I can hear you. Oh my god. How Damn. did I get so fucking lucky? Pick up a tape, it softly quivers in your hand, the label reminding you of a distant memory. Suddenly you hear a strange voice. Play the tapes. Find out how you got here. Everything is interlinked. Don't you remember? Eject tapes at any time with G. Okay, so now we get probably get to the point of choosing a game. Ooh, okay. Press F to inspect tape. Okay, so... This is... Mountain View Primary School. The Looker. Cabin Anomaly Investigate Investor Briefing. Okay, I'm probably gonna do this one last. Cause that sounds like an SCP-like thing. Security room. Oh, I actually saw this on Itch.io. I didn't know he had, they this creator made this game. I almost downloaded it and downloaded it, but I, I had like 70 games at the time. Um, the Cabin Anomaly. <laughs> I think I'll no, play... never mind. Let's do that one last. Yes, let's do this one last. So you know what? Let's do this one first then. Wait. Oh shit. If if it's the cabin anomaly introduction, you think you'd want to do it like Investor Briefing. Okay, one nature of the anomaly teleportation. Contains travel between two locations without crossing into. Okay. Okay, that's just regular walking. Oh. The unmarked location, the branch of the cabin anomaly. One of the six cabins seems to be missing is unknown how to enter and none of the cabins teleport to it. Okay, I can read all that, but okay. Oh, the cabin's gone. A symbol the first leaf. Trace symbol and then some of the cannons materials for sure frustra. One part of the sentence we pointed toward the unmarked location. Oh. What do you mean the material's extraterrestrial? How did you how do you know that? This concludes the investor briefing. Dictates any time to cheat. Oh. That wasn't a game, that was just a preview. Oh, okay. It's literally just a preview. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's actually try this then. Oh. What the fuck? At least it's not opening a new instance every time, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I... I can't run. Oh. Alice, do you want to go play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. This will change the game uh, of tag forever. Oh, maybe it's all supposed to be in order of the tapes. I was... <laughs> I went out of order. You fool. 
Okay, I can't go for, back that way anymore. I don't know if this is the end of the tape or do I keep going? Then I'm guessing the last one's the game. This is just all like story. But even if that is the truth and it's not like multiple games, this is still pretty cool. Or you're not able to go further down the other direction? That's what I'm doing now. I'm going that way. All right. Into the darkest depths I go. I mean, if I can't go anywhere else... Nope. Because the last time it, it's, it said press G to eject, like it was done. So... Yeah. We're probably missing something. I'm gonna try each and every door. Make sure it's not like one night. Shut up, you damn bell! Yeah, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. There is something inside the lock. Maybe that is it. Mm -hmm. No signal. Oh, did G press G? Yeah. The looker. Oh, okay then. Well, this isn't disturbing. There's a lock. No. I feel like breaking into this house with everything looking like this around it is a bad idea. I mean, what else do you have to do? Hey, Derna. Oh, hi, Derna. I don't... Oh, wait. That are... That's a door. I can't open the door. <laughs> what? There goes Adorna. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. I am playing a, a horror game called Unsorted VHS. I just finished playing uh, a really good visual novel game uh, made by Ray Rapids. If your snake has raided you, you give him... Your cookies or food viewers. He may start. <laughs> he may start a rampage with his army. He <laughs> left me behind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. What do I do? I just. Am I supposed to just see the house? Because it's like covered in darkness. You know, it sure is a house. Hello, good doctor. Hello, Nubian. Oh, yes, hello, hello, people who raid. How are you and your guests? I'm doing well. What about you guys? I'm well. Emotional damage! <laughs> I guess that's how Adurna's doing. <laughs> yep. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Uh, how are you? He just gave up trying to say their name. <laughs> I was, my my mouth was about to, uh, like, uh, you know, like slurring your speech. Like it, it just sounds like nothing but sound. That's what was about to happen. So I just gave up before nothing her name. <laughs> my Caro the Noodle. I'm guessing this is all that you do. Is that you just check out the area. And we we did that. Okay, so 
so this is different. That's a lot of canned food. Insert disc. Um, well, seeing how that's broken... I could still try it. I'm pressing E. I can't pick up anything. Oh. Okay. Oh! I have to go back. I feel like Bright would do with Christmas lights. Wait, what? All right, uh, have fun. Yeah, anyways. Take uh, care. Yeah, so it definitely looks like that I need to go back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I see the game, what it's doing. So I have to constantly go back and forth between these tapes. Okay, so around a tree, there should be uh, a disc. Further to your uh, right now. Right, 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 right. Got it. I posted the pic in the VC chat. Oh. Aha! A, a key. key. Oh, to the, oh, to the basement thing over there. Jesus. Jesus what? Christ. What? What happened? Uh, it's it's the picture and recording live stream BC. What? I'm gonna go look and see it. I'm confused. Yeah, it's in the chat. Oh. No, I would not do that. I don't even have Christmas lights up this year, to be honest. That looks I hereby give you a failing grade in Christian. Oh. Uh, hey, I, excuse me. I was just about to explain that the Christians basically took Christmas from... Pagans, but okay. I mean, not exactly. Uh, not fully? Okay. It's, it's a really complicated topic. Uh. Oh. They call it excommunication. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't have a flash. Okay, I hear it. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Right click to zoom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I can read this to George. Okay. George, I'm sending this to you from the lo looker. And hope that it does not find me here. Put the cabin anomaly on full lockdown. Hell, if I were you, I would put the pulse sonar down. The high level security access code is 4142. I know this is coming out of nowhere, and I'm not the one authorized for this, but you have to trust me. I'll try to make my way to you. Well, he's dead. How do you know that? You might be fine. But whatever that red liquid on the ground was might have just been... Build jam from his sandwich. Yeah. So we probably now have to go find a keypad. So now we know it's 4142. 4142, okay. That's I'm actually an easy that. code to remember. I don't think it's going to be in the school. Has to be something around here. Security area. What the hell? Aha! Oh, oh what the fuck? 
But you don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. What the fuck was that? Nope. Phrase enter code. Okay, use number keys to input code. Four, one, four, two. Man, this is a private boot. Overriding lockdown. Oh, it's already in lockdown. Why am I overriding it? Well, I'll just set the monster free. That's fine. How do you know? You may have done something that wasn't Oh! Bad. I did not notice that for a second. Oh, that's normal. He's, a... Look, he's just sleeping, okay? Right? What? You've got problems. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else we can do here. I'm going to look around, though. Like the back or something. Oh, I don't like that sound. Okay, so... That became reverted. Now what? Oh, the school, because it was ringing around and everything. I wonder, going back here, will make it so it's no the doors aren't fully shut anymore or something like that. I don't know. Oh. I was wrong. Not really seeing anything new. And yeah, that's it. It's probably going to be the final tape. Oh, okay, that's concerning. Bring your kid to work day. No, I don't think I will. Fuck you. Well, I haven't I gotten just... pregnant yet, so I can't bring my kid to work day. You could adopt. Oh, I can't open this. There's nothing about taking... Get back from work. Oh my god. I was the only one who saw that, right? Saw what? The, the, the door just being opened and closed. Nah. Yeah. Nah, I didn't yeah. see that. I, I don't think that happened. I hate yeah, torture upstairs. Yeah, that didn't happen at all. You might just be seeing things. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's really much you can do here. Oh. Man, your streaming vision is really bad. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Can I close the door? No. Well, I'm dead. Okay. Unmarked location possible combinations five to the tenth power question mark <laughs> hmm. is that actually five to I don't think that's five to the tenth power that is most certainly not five well maybe it does end with a five so it's possible Let me check. One sec. Alright. Here's with 25. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think the 
Ten ones will seem right. I'm not sure about the other one. Oh. Well, I'll check it. Okay, I did something. Oh, there's the cabins. Fancy. Oh, wait. Right. And now there's oh, yeah, music. No, that's it. That that is five to the tenth five to the tenth power. Ah. Okay. Most of the financiers are simply not interested in unmarked location, and if I'm being completely honest, it might not even exist. Our best option right now is to try moving one of the cabins. It could prove to be a revolutionary way of transport. I'll assemble a team for Tuesday. Alfred. Oh, the government tried to use this. We have no indication that it's the government. I'm saying it's the government. Why would that be your first inclination? You know what? No, it's not the, the government. It's the... Shit. Uh, American airports. It's the American airports. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's you just, new. You just say things. Without any regard to Jesus. them having. Who the fuck designed that elevator? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I was not prepared. So, so, Bright, you went from the government to a very specific part of the government. Yes. Please be aware of the following guidelines <laughs> when working with the cabin anomaly. One, do not. Under any circumstances, leave objects inside of the cabins. This can cause fatal injuries upon teleportation. 2. Close the cabin doors upon exiting them. This is to maintain the interior of the cabins. Failure to do so may damage the integrity of the anomaly. 3. Employees must conduct teleportation research one at a time. See guideline 1. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in, in contract termination. Alright, time to... Uh, not do a single one of those. What the hell? Why is this on backwards? So only ones that are showing is one, uh, three, and four. But for some reason, this one's not able to be seen, which is two. I'm not sure if that's for a code or something. Mm -hmm. Alright. Wait a minute. I was over there. <laughs> yes, we we've been informed that these teleport you. One, three, and four, and two. Alright. I'm feeling one of these doors is gonna do some. Do something. It hit me where I need to go or something. Okay, so I'm back here. I wonder if that note in the school said a specific cabin. I don't think so. Also, I just realized these cabins are short as all hell. Yeah, ended up there. Which means I need to check this one. I end up here. Now, real question is, what happens if I go through here and then go to leave? Where do I go? Oh, I just go right here. Yeah, the next next door over. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to start one, two, three, four, and five. I wonder if that's supposed to be what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. Nope, I'm back at one. Okay, I'm confused. What am I supposed to do? Wait, I want to see something. I want to see what happens if I leave a door open and then go through one. Yeah, and then teleport. So it said not to do that. Yeah. The code? Well, there's no nines or anything like that that was in the code. That door's still open. Nothing happened. Let's see, I think five sends you to one, so what if you leave one's door open and then walk through five? Oh, you mean this one right here? Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. There. <laughs> Which one do you think I was meaning? Flash. So one open. Open. At least I think five goes to one. All of them go to one. Oh, they all just go to one. Yep, now I'm at two. Oh, open all of the doors. Oh, uh, yeah. And then all I'll be left will be six. The code in the big office. Uh, I, like, if you're meaning the... Five to the tenth like, power. Five to the tenth power. I have no idea how you could actually input that in any way. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. That's what we were supposed to do. Round cabin six. Wait, I can't I can't close the door. Oh that's concerning. Rip. It looks like a Oh, it's gone. Oh well that's normal. <laughs> Hey, Hatchet, can you read that for me? Uh, no. Okay, let's just go this way. Everything is fine. I'm really liking this so far. <laughs> Even though it's like not like a bunch of horror games, like unsorted disc. Um, I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Uh oh. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, um, I still so can't move. Were, so you were killed by the cardboard people. Oh, wait, we're still going. Okay, we're not dead yet. We're going to a rusted, bloody building. This looks to the lab that we were at. Yeah. That was like studying the cabins. This is a lot of blood. It's the last one for you. Oh my god. Hey buddy. Oh, these are the tapes. Wait. I, mm -mm, I don't like that. I do not like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> the contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. But how do you expect to return? You watch them over and over again. The friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They grow brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. Created by Mike Klunika. Thank you for playing. That was really cool. 
I actually thought this would be longer. Kind of like the last yeah. one, that would be a bunch of games. Okay, so that was actually a pretty neat concept. Yeah. I kind of wish I knew I had to go in order. <laughs> Alright, let's Oh my goodness. That is 100%. <laughs> so what set you off so much, Hatchet? About the... that. Question. Hmm? What, would have, what would have happened if you had only opened three of the doors and left the number two and number uh, five? Close. Yeah, I'll probably just go to number two. <laughs> if I went through yeah. five and go, and go to five, I if I went through two. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually am. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna look for Christmas horror games for the day before Christmas. So far, I think this is the joke horror game, but I'm gonna play it. It's called Frosty the Snow Hitman. Nah. Okay, I know what to do next. Alright, Hatchet. Uh, do you remember uh, when we played that game where we had the, the Mandela game where we had the choose what's uh, if they if they were normal or not oh yeah that one yeah well someone took that concept and added more to it that's what we're playing next okay it's called maple maple county and it has a twitch category mm. There it goes. <laughs> there we go. All right. Maple County Interactive Training Tape. Is this expanded on the idea, or like, Attention, like Maple County Police someone else Department. expanding on it, or the original the training video will begin momentarily? I'm not this fully sure. All video, I know is that it has seated. Mandela stuff in it. Pick up the remote on the table in front of you and give inputs when required. That's all I, I know. I didn't want to look too far in the game. I wanted to be look at it. This interactive it training first. video is brought to you by Maple County's Police Department. In this instructional video, you will learn about the current threats sweeping our state. And how to protect okay. yourself and citizens oh, from this great. threat. We know very little about this threat, but as we learn and grow our knowledge, yeah, first thing this step will be removed in the following months. Oh, it's, it can, I can still see the it. The media has not revealed this threat, and everything you see in this training video is classified. Sharing this information with friends or loved ones is not permitted. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Exercise 1. Assessing the threat. Alright, we gotta assess the screen, threat. Two images will appear. On instinct alone, please choose the image that is the most unsettling. You will be scored at the end of this video. I gotta choose the most unsettling image. Okay. Between two. I'm choosing right. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh. D I. Hmm. I assume right again? That kind of looks yeah, more right has got like those little pinprick eyes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, then. Okay, that looks normal. 
That is not normal. I don't know. Left seems the creepiest to me. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's not good. Mm -mm. I wait. Whoa. Every time I see my old house, I feel sick to my stomach. What the fuck? Okay. I notice it's not my house. But that actually looks like my house. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> it's a pretty common design. Yeah. I can't get his eyes out of my head. He was weightless, almost floating. Dashed from room to room like a puppet on strings. I think there's somebody in my kitchen. What the fuck? Congratulations. You passed the first exercise. Okay. Next, we will learn more on how to identify a threat. Reports have identified these characteristics. Lack of emotion and uncanny facial oh features. Oh, God. Body language mirroring and verbal imitation. Lack of eye tracking and awkward movement. Unusual. Oh, okay then. So, so just autistic people then, huh? And disabled people. Oh, my God. I think somebody's in my bedroom. Busty, you better kill them. You gotta protect me. You're my little baby. You gotta protect me. Hello? Oh, what? What happened? What happened? Oh, what the fuck? I'm... Wait, what the fuck? This is not what I thought I was getting into. Whoa. I'll take it you're actually controlling this. Yes, I I'm moving this. Okay, this is actually really cool. At first I was I thought I just had to choose pictures. What do I do? Hey, wait a minute. That's just our roommate Jeffrey. Jeffrey needs to put on clothes then. No, 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 mom is dead. Rip. It is tricking you. The police won't help you. Well, that's obvious. Play dead. Well, dumbass, when you play dead, you don't move. <laughs> yeah, well, Sheriff's Department. Uh, hi. So, this could be nothing, but there's this really fucking freaky dude that's been chasing the house, I think. <clears throat> well, uh, can you d describe him to me, at least? Um, I mean, I mean it's, it's like pitch black outside, but, um, mm. I, I think he might be on, like, drugs or something. He's moving, like, really weird. <sighs> well, uh... Is he doing anything illegal, or...? Oh, uh, no, fuck you guys. Fucking nothing happens out here. Just fucking send someone. Jesus fucking... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just freaked out, man. It's just... This shit never happened. Alright, right. what's he doing right now? <sighs> fuck. Um... Huh. Jesus. I, he just... He just kinda... I mean, he definitely knows I'm looking at him. And he knows I'm calling the cops, so hopefully he'll fuck off. But I, I don't know, something's just... Off. Oh, what's your address? It's, uh, no road. Yeah, just, just try to hurry. Uh, my mom's passed out in the other room. I'm not trying to, like, wake her up and freak her out of the fucking day she had. Yep, we'll see you soon. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty cool. Because yeah. at first you think you're just choosing pictures, and then... Then it just throws you in there. Okay, I was not expecting that. Like, two. Play ending very fast. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh wait, no. I think it'll be better serve better than something else. Hmm. Alright, hatchet. I'm gonna have you choose between two games, alright? Okay. Discover my body or footage nineteen eighty five. These both sound like they could have something to do with sex. Oh my god, Hatchet. I think I've seen footage 1985 before. So go with Discover My Body. Alright. And I think and, and I just thought it was something. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I remember, Discover My Body, I don't remember what went on in the game, but I know it's meant to disturb you. It's not like jump scary horror game, it's a disturbing horror game. I mean, yeah. Cool. Oh my god. I actually found out, um... Cyber power makes you every time you download something and open it, it says Windows protected your PC. Blah 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 blah. This is don't open it, even if it's a, even if it's Norton antivirus. I kid you not, it does it for Norton anti antivirus. I don't think that's. I don't think that's like your computer itself. That's that's Windows doing that. Yeah, I fucking hate Windows. Pain in my ass. Uh, yes, please put it in full screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture of what the screen size it wanted to be before I put it in full screen, okay? I'm gonna put it in the VC chat. <laughs> okay. Come on, phone. Load it. Come on. You got it. Come on. Come on. Come on, phone. My favorite activity is staring at chat logs waiting for something to happen. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're starting over with loading the fucking picture? God damn it, phone! We need to play more Minecraft at some point. Oh yeah, that's actually one thing, Hatchet. Since you got your new computer, there's actually one thing we can do together. Yes. And that, uh, uh, which is go to, uh, horror maps on VR chat, since VR chat is free. So you don't have to worry about paying it or anything. Oh, okay. Also, you don't even, also, you don't even, for VR chat, you don't even have to use VR. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And there's like thousands of models you can choose between. Just, Probably not use one that's revealing. There are almost completely nude models in VR, in VR chat. Mm. Mm. I shall find my perfect feather sona. Oh my god. Either that or just be a naked anime girl. Ooh. What in the fuck? Please, phone, just load the goddamn picture. There it goes. For fuck's sake. Alright. That's how small it is. 
Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just a fucking cell phone sized window yeah. on your computer. I'm a fucking fart. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So let me go here. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh, I'll do it later, okay? All right, there we go. Everyone can know. see and everything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Thank you, my Kira the Noodle. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, in the year 2040, human beings looked for increasingly strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. Distrusting previous institutions that supposedly brought people together and common lonely people looked to technology and science for answers. One such new technology is a psych psychically powerful lab synthesized fungi. You, a medical student at the local university, have been brought in to study an application to a human host. Gotta manage to make it, it in t read it all in time. Whew. Doctor, what? I have a question. Yes, what is it? question is if the question is is she actually a doctor the answer is no <laughs> no i'm a doctor you don't want because i'll fail <laughs> no because you have literally no experience with it i know i know cpr and how to use an epipen what is cpr you again uh multiple Yeah, but it's yeah. kind of like a hog posh of stuff. Yeah. Amalgamation. Hey, stuff. cats! Like, cease your fighting! I am amalgamation. An abomination against God. <laughs> well, that is true. So. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to uh, be the person, Hatchet? Ah, uh, you must be new student. Dr. Morrison was speaking of. I hear your cry, Frank. <laughs> My God. <laughs> With her name, uh, that's just so funny. Yeah. If only you knew. The name's very ironic, in fact. <laughs> Because even though she's called Dr. Bright, it's about as dim as they can be. Yeah. My god. The next one had to have something to, to do with Shran. Yeah, so, uh, good luck reading this. Have you ever studied a... F a... S a... F oh, that's the... that word is... Physical. <laughs> it's, psych it's psychical. So you, haven't you heard of that? Psychical? <laughs> oh, it's psychical? No. I mean, it's probably supposed to be physical, but it's, it's spelled psychical. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Wait a minute. <laughs> it is. Yes, I know my word. <laughs> I didn't see and the why for a moment. <laughs> Which case that makes more sense because we're talking about some kind of psychic, uh, oh, yeah. some kind of fucking fungus. Have you ever studied a psychical trans bulletutian flowering before? I. Probably pronounced Well, a, a newbie, you gotta keep in mind that's all that's all these streams tend to be when there's someone else in chat. 
Yes. Or in in call. When <laughs> yeah. we're in chat, we're insulting Bright. We're in call, we're insulting Bright. It's oh, what we do. Holy shit! I just realized we're up to oh, we're up at ten viewers. Oh, cool. Sweet. And the and the second I say that, it starts going back down. <laughs> I say, well, you're in for quite a treat. <laughs> I have assisted with many flowerings before. However, this is my first time in the hot state. This facility is equipped with a neuron coronal scanner. You're you're fine in the <laughs> I was just making the joke that the second I mention it, it starts going down. <laughs> I don't know why you're saying sorry. I think it was because when I said, oh, look, it's it's 10, and the second I say that, it goes down. Oh. <laughs> I was making a joke based off that. You're, you're good, Anubian. I'm, I'm not mad or anything. That was a whole terrible joke. Anyways. He's mutating. I see. That's, that's, that's not something new for Bright, though. Uh, oh, go fuck yourself. Yo, but I will to do my transformation. Holy shit, you're transgender? Congratulations. That's not what I said. <laughs> That's transition, <laughs> not transformation. <laughs> Oh, you're gender swapping? <laughs> what? What? What is that? What is <laughs> Oh, hey, Chu. How's it going? Hello, Chu. I hurt Hatchet. <laughs> Ugh. I'm too old for this shit. Just got my research paper graded. Oh, nice. Potatoes. <laughs> More like trans species. Just got my research. Yeah, hell yeah. Congrats, you. Yeah, congrats. Ninety-two point three percent. Even though it was almost a week late. Damn, that's pretty good. Nice. Anyway, did you read this part, Hatchet? Yeah. And its various effects on my bodily system. Just navigate the icon over my body. Who says also bookworm if you're still if you're here still you're an absolute fucking menace. I'm oh, guessing no. that's I'm guessing that's to do with the fact that like what was it like a couple days ago or maybe a day ago. Uh bookworm, bookworm did No, not a train. day ago. Yeah, like some days ago bookworm got a hype train going on the not even streaming currently to yeah, the level 5 hype train when I wasn't even streaming. My brain's broke area has been linked to a digital readout. So even when I am at the point where I am... Beyond human speech, I will be able to communicate. Well, 
please begin your examination. Oh, I have to keep clicking it. Oh, I get it. We. <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh. What in Sam hell is that? Whoops. Oh, wait. What? Okay. Okay, good. I was worried for a moment it showed a penis. Then again, oh, it also has... switch to nervous. Okay, so scan. Oh. Maybe I have to go further down. Uh -huh. you, you might have to use other like the other like systems as well yeah oh 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 oh, oh, oh. you I saw it too. I didn't just I oh. just didn't read it I did read it. You've discovered the injection site two weeks ago. Dr. Wolfie took a bone deep needle to my right skin. It hurt like hell. However, what he injected was worth its weight in gold. Well, she too bad. And therefore, demand a pension break. Right. It was a skin graft of a successful BDB flowering. <laughs> Why did it do it twice? September. <laughs> what do you mean twice? Oh, it shows twice for me. I know, there's only one shout out. Also, I was gonna ask, how long were you planning to stream? I don't know, maybe one or two. Two. Okay. Anubian says, look at Nervous. Well, we still gotta get through all this first. I'm gonna go through the top a skeletal first, then it's Nervous. Go in order. What's that? It kind of looks like a face. Yeah, it, it, it very well much does. Well, the PPB mm. organism is a psychical organism. It's physical. It's that is physical. Its physical manifestation draws from a shared pool of all its denizens, traumas, fears, dreams. I believe that's my mother's face on my 
again. I just imagine that he just walks up and sees his mother after a while. And then she just looks down and like sees her own face on his chin. <laughs> To be fair, his mother's probably dead. True. Oh, well, yep. <laughs> oh, oh, how I miss her. What enough about me. Please continue the examination. I love to die. Damn it, I can't scan his dick. I don't like him. Right? Why? Oh my god, his head! <laughs> Skull. <laughs> oh, you've discovered my rotting bone. That's not a good thing. Yes. The rot has set in, certainly. It inches like the devil, but soft bones are required for the painter, yes, to do its work. All right, see you later, Chew. Have a good night, Chew. Thank you, Woo. Good night, show well. The human body was never intended to experience a flowering. In the process, one is haunted physically and psychically and physically. Soft, rotting bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. This just makes me think of one of my favorite hentai games. Oh my god. I mean, I can see. It's a little unsettling to look to look at some of this stuff so far. I mean, yeah. Again, though, very painful stuff. When I begin to scream, I expect you to keep your cool, though. No promises. I'll probably just throw start throwing a party when you, no not a party a rave when you start screaming. What is your reason? What? <laughs> <laughs> this should all be academic to you. Are you getting any class credit? For this, by the way, I say, well, please continue. All right, now time for nervous system. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's this weird white thing up here. Probably. Yep. Ah. Uh, You've discovered the primordial inhibitor. This is a device implanted in my brainstem, which helps to undo certain evolutionary safeguards against operations like this. That's probably not a good thing. I mean, I guess he consented to it, so it's whatever. Yeah. It limits positivity to meta ex existential stimuli. 
I'm not in not too many words. The flowering is an evolutionary aberration. One which requires some retooling of our formation of mental concepts. Mm. For instance, one who has flowered goes not ex does not experience the human idea of time. But if I tried and apprehended a apprehended this with my regular old monkey mind, I would go quite insane. But anyway, please go on, discover, explore. Right. Oh. Uh, according to the constant con concentration of the PTB in my blood, I will begin the flowering process very soon. Quick. Give me your wallet to bite down on. <laughs> oh. My god, you... You good? Oh, no. Wow. That hurt. Sorry. I seem to have bit down too hard and broken a couple days. Give me a moment to spit them out. Now then, as you can see by my face, I am midway through the flowering process. <laughs> oh wait, that might have said hurrah. <laughs> oh whatever. <laughs> I'm turning into plants. <laughs> I can feel the inkling of a pan's psychic con connection. The plants are speaking to me. And my body has experienced amazing and terrible growth. See for yourself. Oh, I did not move it at first. Oh. I still can't tell if this is a good thing or a bad thing for this guy to go through. I guess it's a thing. Trying to get all the outside first. Oh my god. Oh. That's normal. Well, let's just say he doesn't have much of an arm, left arm anymore. Doesn't have much of a right arm either. Or his legs. He is plant now. How is this not abnormal? Are you sure you scanned all the way? across the big weird-ass thing. Ah, here we go. Oh. 
Ah, uh, you've discovered that my hands have fallen off. Well, I suppose it'll never play the violin again. I mean, I'll... Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I'm falling behind. Oh, no. Joking aside, this is pretty much to be expected. Part of the primordial inhibitor is to disassociate brain and hand connection or connectedness. As a result of this, the hands fall off. As they are merely vestigial baggage. Standing in the way of a superior evolution. I'm sorry. Just briefly had a bit of a ego death there for a moment. I could feel my thoughts intertwine in the rhythmatic group mind. Please continue. I like how he's not even worried about his fucking legs. Well, again, this is entirely expected to him. Uh. Oh, that was fast this time. Um, yeah, the... The, huh? like... The body that's connected to him probably has been... Um, communicating with him about it. What was gonna happen and everything. Yeah. Anyways. Uh -huh. You've discovered my bone growth. As I was saying about the dramatic changes of PTB flowering occurs. Why did I make him have this voice? I don't know. This voice physically tires me, and I don't know why. Well, now, at a bone-deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake. Ooh, I can eat it. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, you never want human bone sponge cake? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bri, please never speak again. <laughs> but look closer. My bone fragments have begun to reassemble into a complicated, if fragile, latest work of water-thin stoichic receptors. Some of the bones are poking out of my skin. I knew that. I felt it. Ha ha! Please go on. Oh my god, your nervous system. Your nervous system? <laughs> ha! Aha! Oh, I got a niche in my eye. 
Wait, is it just me or does it look like his brain shrunk? I don't know. Maybe a bit. You've dis. Oh, oh, Jesus. What? You've discovered my new minds. To the extent that the brain is a mind that is. We'll leave that to the philosophers. Right, then you could have just... You could have just said, Hey, look, you saw my new brains. You didn't <laughs> have to remind me of, like, the absolute clusterfuck that is, like, philosophizing over the mind and brain and body. I don't know. As my own mind brain disintegrates into the group mind. Okay, so it did shrink. Yeah. What remains of my body becomes a small distribution of other flowering mind brains. As we speak, I am flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Even to distinguish ourselves from our limitless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite pleasure as well as infinite pain. Hmm. Masochists I have, don't like this. I am become sadomasochism. <laughs> we have so oh my god. Not, we have so not exactly. Sorry. I remembered the statist part. Oh, okay. Wait, why why say say this part? Oh. I just realized that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but this this does go well with what I was gonna say. They have now become chew. <laughs> oh my god. I have become a Super Saiyan yellow mouse. I am become Chew, destroyer of loaves. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, that one needs to be clipped. <laughs> yep. Bookworm. Okay, I just send it straight to Chew. <laughs> yeah. Bookworm. I'm kidding. Is this what death is? Aha! I say we're at the final day. Anubian just says, wow. Yep. I complete the flower. Infinite pleasure. Pain. Death. Oh my god. I am so happy. Okay, that was definitely a disturbing game. I. Mm. Mm. So, we as humans couldn't figure out how to community bond in the hellscape of late stage capitalism so we started turning ourselves into many hive minds with fungus yep I don't like this timeline that's not our timeline then
Okay, I gotta post something in staff chat. Because one person I didn't block yet because they kept revealing information about stuff because they're fucking stupid. Just now revealed to me that they did the recent body pretty much. That they what? what? That they basically have me on a list of people they send those bots to. So it's highly likely they did the bot. Great. Nervian <laughs> says, I might go to bed soon and work tomorrow. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. See see you later, Nubian. Thank, Thank you, you for okay. coming in. Have a have a good night. Thanks for coming. Right. Have a good night, Nubian. I am become you. Destroyer of love. Oh, did you see that I uh, quoted you? Oh. I'm still here. I said my. Oh, yeah, fair. So a Nubian remains. Just that they might go. Or I can make bad decisions. No, Anubian. That's Bright's job. Hey. Uh, it is the truth. Fuck you. Alright, so I'm become two destroyer of loafs. <laughs> what the fuck is my friend's room? <laughs> Wait, is Bokram still here? God damn it, Nubian. Nubian says, I am going to make bad decisions, so I guess they're staying. Alright. Uh, Adurna, you get a choice this time, because I had, had to choose last one. Flesh Grifter. Yeah. Or the Arrowhead Incident. Hmm. Ooh, the Arrowhead Incident sounds like it could be racist, depending on like some things. I, I've already double checked everything. I don't think it's based off what you're thinking. Okay. <laughs> I I've started double checking my games because of a certain one we had appear on the stream once. Yes. Yeah, well, said... couldn't you have started check, double checking them after like the one where it says like a slur for like Native Americans? Yeah, that's that's when I started trying to double check. Oh, that's the one? Okay. Yeah. Wait, then how did you miss other one? Oh yeah, because you didn't know that the G word was a slur. <laughs> yes, that's what? Oh no, that time I think Bright was reading something from an SCP article. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Anyways, what's your choice? Choose the blasphemy. <laughs> Flush Grifter or the Arrowhead Incident? I don't want to start the God NES Godzilla horror game because I know that's going to take really uh, like probably one stream because I think it's pretty big. Adana, did you answer? Oh. I'll say the first one. Blush Grifter? Mm -hmm. Great. Let's see if it has... 
Oh, Twitch category. It does not. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Windows. Windows, shut the fuck up. Windows is like, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Windows wants an update. I just updated it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. Let's see if it will pop up. Yep, there it goes. Do, 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 do. Come on, Discord, look faster. Thank you. All right. Oh, I can actually mess with the volume now. Okay. Let's probably cut it down to there, there, and there. Just in case. Let's see. Shift is crouch and curl is prone? Okay, so there's no running. Okay. Mm. That's great. But you can go pro. Yep. Oh, Hello? what? What happened? Hello? Can you hear me? I don't know what's going on, but if you want to survive, listen closely. The machine is powered by three activators. The only problem is that they're powered by the... <laughs> There's a bunch of memes on here. Kids. Whatever you do, don't run. That thing is faster than it looks. Find something to hide behind. Sneak around, grab the key before it sees you. Don't try to wait it out either. It might not know your exact position, but it'll know what room you're in, so don't expect to leave. You got that? Hello? You're, you're breaking up. Okay, so apparently I had to look at the TVs the entire fucking time. Assuming I have to do this. I'd rather spend a day I'm with Mariah in. Curious. She seems all for Christmas. Across your home or, or work. A night shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, pizza on night four difficulty. I honestly don't I mean, care about the song, really. Oh, the headphones. Yeah, song. same. So, I guess the song. Yeah, I'm, I'm crawling on the ground. Uh-oh. What? Okay, Discord lagged. The sounds, the sounds of its feet. That's my heartbeat. No, I'm not talking about that. Like when it was walking nearby, it's like its footsteps were heard. 
Oh, I can't go forward. Well, I just trapped myself. Rip. Why don't and you go up to it and say hi? I don't know where it went. Here it's speed. Oh, not here. <laughs> this, thing, this thing looks like something I'd expect to find in Morrowind. I wonder if what it looks like to, hit, to it with me just crawling on the ground. Like, I'm just slithering around. I'm a sneaky snake. Also, let's just be frank. Crawling like this would be absurdly painful and tiring. Yes, go, let's go, let's go. I don't know how long it's going to keep walking around in that room because it did say it knows what room I'm in. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, it definitely knows what room I'm in. Hey, how are you? Oh, its head is pulsating. I don't like that. If I just, like, you know, follow it, I can probably get to where I need to go, which is probably over there. Fuck am I supposed to go? It's supposed to unplug this or something? Or is I supposed to grab a key of some sort? To Moses. Jesus fucking Christ. No bien. <laughs> oh, what the f Oh, no. Do I have to stack those meat cubes? Yep. That's what I'm supposed to do. I need to go back and get the meat cubes. Yeah, I 
It's just, it's flinging the meat cubes towards me. Why, thank you. What? I, what? You saw that, right? I was looking at something elsewhere. I saw it disappear. Do I have to be fast? That means you have to go fast. Or is it? Oh shit! I can tr I can play all of the Dragon Age games with Game nice. Pass. Well, what makes it worse is this fucker takes forever to move around. Make sure we get the weapon. Or is it every time it does that? Yeah, because it didn't shrink. Oh, well, now it's shrunk. That's odd. Or maybe it's just like certain ones, because I just placed that. Or it could be a glitch. Yeah, because now I got four over there, and they're not vanishing. I just realized how how long it's going to take for me to, to do it block by block to get up there. It's going to take fucking forever. Wait, I just realized I can't jump. So how the hell am I supposed to climb up there? Oh shit. So now I'm even more confused as how the hell am I supposed to get up there? That is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait a minute. I can figure out what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I didn't know I can squeeze past here. That's interesting to note. go over there and get it which means there's no point in that fucking thing being over there's a fucking red herring so that means i just have to drag one of its meat shits over there and then leave which is rather easy because it's rather easy the easy to get to that one because I just have to follow him and make sure I'm not behind him when he turns around. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a 610 creature. Except not red. Hmm. So 
so once it goes to leave. <laughs> left a bunch of meat blocks here. And here we go. Oh, they each need three. Oh, this one's red. Which means it needs these or may have to go back to the blue one and put another one of these pictures in that's great hey buddy how's it going one of your shits is floating in the air Ooh. Ooh. you're not very intelligent are you Now I gotta make my way back to blue, so I have to go back and forth. Okay, so this isn't very hard. It's a lot better than trying to build fucking stairs. But yeah, I guess I've got an idea of what I'll start streaming once I get tired of Skyrim. What? The Dragon Age. Yeah. Dragon Age is good. I'm currently uh, on, what is it called? I'm currently on um, Origins. But I've already played, um, I've already played like Inquisition. Yeah, the games that I have access to are uh, Origins 2 and Inquisition mm. through Game Pass. Also, funny thing about like the games I've played, I also started um, Mass Effect with the last game. Uh. Yeah, I started Mass Effect with Andromeda. Is that not I guess I did the same with. Uh, I guess I also kind of did the same with, um, what is it called? Oh yeah, with, um, <clears throat> the Elder Scrolls series too. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just leave now, because I placed them at both, and nothing happened. I guess I could also stream Darkest Dungeon. That is also free with Game Pass. What the hell? How did it see me? Hey, it's because you took too long. Well, let's Hello. listen this time. Hello, can you hear me? I don't oh, there's more than one. Listen closely. The machine, it's powered by three activators. Only problem is that they're powered by the two. You have no choice but to get close to it. Whatever you do, don't run. That thing is faster than it looks. Find something to hide behind. Sneak around, grab the key before it sees you. Don't try to wait it out either. You might not know your exact position, but it'll know what room you're in, so don't expect to leave. You got that? Hello? You're, you're breaking up. Or maybe it saw me for a li little teeny tiny gap that was there. Oh, wait a minute. There's a vent right here. I believe you missed that. Oh, looky, where I am. Oh. 
You just skipped a bunch of steps. Yeah. See me too, but I want to see it get, you know, run past. You know what I'm thinking of? I don't think it can get past right here. So even if it does see me, this is a really good hiding spot. Yeah, I think the real problem is that it like it saw me like in between the blocks, which is fucking sh bullshit. Which also sucks because last round they had a bunch of these meat cubes surrounding the other fucking generator right here. That sucks. Anyways, take your shit. Let's see. Which means now, after I get that one over there, I have to go to the fucking kitchen area and fucking put a, a meat block in there. I probably have to do that three times fucking hell really there's no minecraft creeper anywhere why would that bother me it just shat out another meat glop uh glop glop what is a glop it is actual that is actual word so. it is glop well, actually, no, I think it's glob. Yeah, I'll say no, glob. I, I've definitely heard glob before. Yeah, I've heard glob, too. I mean, I've heard glob from Rick and Morty, but, uh... I'm not sure. If, I'm pretty sure most of the words they say aren't actually words. Like the alien words or whatever. Right, right. Yes. Not every word that sounds weird to you is an alien word. I was talking about like wub 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 dub dub or something like that. Yeah, no, Blob. A sticky they... amorphous substance. Typically something unpleasant. It is a word. Oh, last time we didn't even do that. What the fuck? So now I just have to go to the kitchen. So last time he glitched, so I was dead either way. Oh my gosh, I can see a hole in its stomach area. So now I'm almost done. Which means I probably have to head back to the laboratory area. What was that? What? Just a TNG, I think. Yes! Yes, motherfucker. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to bring one of those meat blocks up there? Or is it all done? I don't see them coming up here. I don't know. Check the, check the room that has the button in it. Nope, I definitely have to get one. Well, good news is he doesn't come up here. What about the white button? Press that on there, like, press on the button. I mean, 
like the white button in there. I think that's just the light. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, he does come in here. Wait a minute. <laughs> he didn't come in here before. I think you were summoning him with the B. The Nubian says you need a cube. Lucky, luckily, they're there, so you can just get your cube from them. Yeah, well, it's a lot harder. Because I think you can see me through the glass. Uh, Nubian says, I'm guessing. Yeah. If I had known, I would have booked it with another cube. Wait, I don't see. Okay, so he's right near me. Are going prone? I'm at prone right now. Oh, I thought this was just crouching. No, shift is crouching. I'm holding curl right now. Oh. So pressing that button was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's nearby, it's nearby, it's nearby, it's nearby. Oh god. Wait, it shits them? Yes. Yes, it's just some, it's just some, it's just some, it's just some. Okay. Wait, why are you taking it into the vent? Because I wasn't sure if it was safe. For me to put it over there, I don't want to get seen. Oh, he left. Wait, what? Oh. I just got my back. <laughs> oh, he thinks I'm going down there. So I can just wait a few minutes and he goes all the way back. <laughs> Are we just not going to talk out his face through multiple walls? I don't need it. It's, it's, it's just, it's magic shit meat, okay? Let's see if he instantly appears. He doesn't instantly appear. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. A few more minutes? Okay, go, 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 go. Go in the fucking thing. Go, 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 go. Yes! Okay. Okay, I'll put it in there. What, hap what happens now? I, I, I did everything. I put it in there. All three generators have power. Okay. Five minutes, she means second, obviously. Be too impatient. I'm so confused. I put it in there. I mean, what's the whole goal to escape this thing? Maybe. So maybe a door's open? I don't know. I didn't see any other doors out there. I 
then again, it was kind of hard to tell what the fuck he, the guy wanted from the TV. in there I guess go check out the other rooms oh oh my god pretty sure vents don't normally have red lights in them Well, most places don't have giant flesh abominations. Oh, wait. It's... Okay, yeah, that's right. That's the first... Oh, that one's two and the other... Okay, so... Nothing different over here. And I didn't see any doors in the kitchen area, so now I'm confused. What the hell am I supposed to do? I mean, you've barely looked around in here. Well, I looked everywhere earlier before I died. Because I, I didn't know where the fuck I was supposed to go. I went... Yeah, so... I have a feeling that that last thing was supposed to... Do everything or whatever. Or maybe... Make... Make a lockdown or something. Tagged me. I am so fucking confused. Mm. Is there like a, a let's play of this or something? No. What's the game called? Flesh Grifter. Apparently, the game's only supposed to take 10 minutes. I'm a dip out. Alright, see ya, Nubian. I don't think you prop. I don't think it's properly put in there. Yeah, it wasn't properly put in there. Cause sirens are supposed to go off. God damn it! I panicked. I wasn't sure if that this fucker over there would be back. But apparently I also didn't notice on the walls you can see the other two rooms this fucker's in. So I could have left the vent, looked to see if he was in this room, then placed it and see or not. If he wasn't it was still in the kitchen, I would have stayed in the vent a little bit longer. 
Oh my god. Also, I... Damn it, I actually let go of the girl key. on the exact same path. Yeah, but I couldn't see from where it was. Okay. I think now's a good idea. Go. Good idea? You mean good time? Whatever. No, it came completely off. Do I have to place them all again? I think you might have to place them all again. God damn it. It was already a pain in the fucking ass. I... Excuse me, what? Oh. I, th I thought I got stuck on the fence. Okay, it should be out of here for right now, so you could probably move faster for the time being. No, I can't. Hatchet almost got me killed. <laughs> it was still very much in here. Have a good night, Anubian. Yeah, good night, Anubian. Good night, Anubian. Yeah, it looks like these things despawned. No. For some reason it's not. Or am I timed? Because this one's not active. Isn't. You know, doing the thing. I'm confused. What am I supposed to do? Because it didn't accept that meat block anymore, which means that when things done and the white lights on, I'm so fucking confused. can't tell if the game's glitching out on me or something else. I, I don't know. There should be a button to bring up instructions. Can you hear me? I don't blame with some of the shiny powered act bears. Only problem is powered by the cues. So no choice goes by it. Whatever you do, don't run, blah, blah, blah. Don't try to wait it out either. It might not know your exact position, but it'll know what room you're in. Don't expect blank to leave. You got that whole right. Machine and labs powered up. Just one more cue and blank it into the machine's chamber. So, 
it is glitched out because I put a cube in the chamber. Oh, I guess I'll try to put another fucking cube. Who restart this run? Also, when it's back is turned to you, you can just go. I can't pick up. I can't pick up anything. That's odd. Here we go. We got one. Maybe I have to drag one from the lower areas and then bring it up. As stupid as that is. I want to wait for it to get further down, though. It disappeared. You saw what that, right? Fuck? Yeah. I guess you could just call it back up here. True. Are you holding it? Where is it on the camera? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, this game is a bit irritating. Just need to shit a fucking block, then I'll sit in the vent for a little bit. Okay. Oh, you almost saw me. Come on, shit some blocks. Shit some blocks. Hey, hey. Okay, shut up. I'm gonna chance it. I'm chancing it. What are you trying to say, Adorna? I was saying if you. <clears throat> hey. If you're gonna, if it doesn't work, you sh should probably um, just. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna pull up, uh, quick. So all it, it shows is that you win at the end. It doesn't okay. show any cutscene or anything. It just shows you win. Well, I was gonna say you could get yourself killed and then try it again. He's just left there. He's just left there. Why are some of them I can't pick up? Are you trying shoving it directly into the light? No, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to wait in here for a few moments. That way it gets dragged back down here. Where's it at? 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 Okay, just up there. Just up there. No. Fuck it. Just let it kill me because it's obviously fucking buggy as shit. And I'll just attempt this another fucking time because I'm fucking done. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's definitely bugged out. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Yeah, it had issues. <laughs>
Yeah, it, this course not allowing me to, to stream it. That's great. Oh well. Sorry. Wait, I want to try something. All right. Maybe if you if I do this, do you see the game? Still there. Oh, uh, you see it? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? One euro, I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh, press E to dig. Oh. I healed myself, apparently. Assuming I have to follow this blood. Or not. Oh, thank goodness. So, am I the monster? Because I'm confused as to what I'm doing. So far, all I've eaten is trash. And I can't run either. Is this supposed to be like a maze or something? Sorry, lady, I can't help you until I eat this trash. Mmm, fresh condoms. What, Bright? What? Why? Because I can. That doesn't mean you should. Hmm. Hmm, Chick-fil-A. Hi there. Do you need assistance or can you give me some food? I'm about to starve to death. Also, I must be one hungry ass motherfucker. I need food like every three minutes or something. Can't go that way, so I gotta go this way. Hi. How are you? Oh, I can't move. Oh, I am the monster.
That's normal. Aww. Oh, hey, it's my fellow kind. Oh, hi, Chew. <laughs> Dumbass kid. Chew. They're literally in a zombie apocalypse. What do you expect them to do? Spent yeah. good. Spent on 32 days of game development. Oh. Yep, that's me name. Do not remove the sticker. <laughs> Thank you for having played. Yeah. Ambuscade. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I got another time for another game in me. I was actually kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> And now the game crashes. There we go. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. Right, right, we can see your screen. Oh. Well, I mean, you don't see anything important. You just see a file full of games. <laughs> oh no, we saw your entire, like... We saw your entire, like, uh, screen. So we saw your... This part as well. Oh. Hmm. I I think I'm just gonna head out. All right. Okay. See you later, Hatchet. Yeah. Uh, what's what's tomorrow? The Pokemon stream. Okay. It'll have to be at nine o'clock, even though I want it to be at six. It's mainly because Busta has a. a uh. You got cut off. Because right, Busta saying? has an appointment. Oh, okay. Next ha next game that I'll end off tonight is Stonehouse Orphanage. Yeah. Have have a good night, y'all. Bye. That's right. To be fair, uh, I'll, huh? I'll, I'll probably leave too. I think I'm gonna leave too, but come here. Alright, see ya, Darna. Yeah. So this will be the last game of the night. And then we'll raid Olympics. So Bookworm, uh, get your uh, raiding words ready after this game. Got it. Next game is Stonehorn uh, House Orphanage. From what I remember, it's not actually lit long. Actually, it's almost one three. I'm desperate need of healthy amount of sleep. So, night everyone in Bookworm. Stop giving chew monies. Yeah, Bookworm, stop giving chew monies. Give money to the charity. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> see you later, Chew.
stone house orphanage. I'm gonna turn it the fuck down. Play. WSD is to move. Press left mouse to interact. Welcome to Stone House Orphanage. I'm Sister Maria. Okay. Why won't you let me see the back of you? What can I do for you? Investigating reports of children going missing from your establishment. I heard about your services. Do you give tours? Runaways. Not missing. My dear lamb. It's unfortunate, but not all souls. Except the care we provide. Do come in. Let me show you around. This is our sitting room, as you can see. We interview prospective parents here. Sometimes I read the, the children their verses here. If they're well behaved. Why don't we talk here? Very well, let us begin. Is your camera recording? Asking first would have been polite. Well then, what do you wish to know? Do you run an orphanage by yourself? I do indeed. It's a lifetime of work, but it's, it truly is my calling. Who were the children who went missing? A boy and a girl, five and seven years old. It's such a tragedy, truly. Awful things happen to children left on their own. Where are the children now? Around, dear. They're around. They're very independent. If a little shy. I have to see the rest of the orphanage. <laughs> Fuck. Very well, let's continue. You're near that door. Toy's placement looks off. As if they were posed. I'm... Excuse me, what? Everyone takes turns cooking in this house. We all take care of each other here. I just finished preparing the soup for tonight. Why don't you try some? Why do I get a feeling I'm gonna die if I take some. What you got in here? You know what? Fuck you, I'm leaving, bitch. Oh, well, that's not deeply concerning. There's nothing interesting in there. Come along now. I guess I have to take some. Pot is full of rust-colored stew. Where do you think the children went? Nothing that's better than here, sweet lamb. Of that, you can be certain. What kind of stew is this? Oh, it's a touch of this and a smidge of that. The ingredients change day to day. According to what we can afford. I trust in the Lord to provide. Do you pray before meals? And of course we pray like this, with bread on our table and drink in each glass. Together we thank you before we all pass. It churns in your stomach. Are you finished? Come along then. This is where the children sleep. And make their prayers in the evening. You're looking a bit unsteady, my dear. God damn it, I was roofied. Woman, you better not mess with my bits. I like them the way they are. Well, not really. Because I don't have female tits yet. But you get the point. <laughs> Why don't you lie down for a bit? You may leave your camera there on the tray. Just... Oh, 
hi. I can't go back now. So our system are surrounded by children. Wait, did I break the game? Because I can't go back. I don't think I was supposed to go this far. I just soft locked myself. It's a Bible. You don't recognize the, the edition. Let me through, you dumb bitch. All right, let me try that again. <laughs> Obviously, I was not supposed to do that. Why do I break games so easily? games made on a shoestring budget true I guess I have no choice now That's a that's much better. Oh my god. Just rest, little lamb. My god. Well, that's it. Anyways, bookworm, what should our writing words be? <laughs> there are any orphans. Oh my. God, bookworm. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> She's going to be so fucking confused. Uh-oh. Is there anything else you want to say before uh, I end stream? Everyone ready? Oh. 
by everyone, I mean Bookworm, you ready? Because <laughs> they're the only one chatting right now. So you ready? Yep, alright. Three, two, one. <laughs> 